I'll have to grab them later. Okay. As it should be. I think that was just a hill. Not sure though. That is not far. Let's do a quick save. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get him and the dwarf. I tire. For I'll try to make this swift. Part of this adventure. Once we go to the ruins, I'll pick him up, Dwarf, and then I'll figure out how that party's gonna work. Oops. Oh well. Nice. Okay, let me come back down here and see if I can actually go left. It looks like I can. I want to clear this area out. Yeah, and then we can, yeah, well... Hmm. It's still, like, the whole thing right now is to see the nymph. That's what we're doing now. We can gather, after we see the nymph, we can go back home, gather the cartographer, gather our dwarf, and then head out to uh, check that new land out. So we drop this. Coverings don't weigh anything. In due time. Right tire. A calculated risk. Oh, Tristan, how do you keep getting yourself in the... He keeps doing that to himself. All according to plan. Man, I really like my party though. The fact that I'm gonna have to drop two people. I'm probably gonna get rid of... No, I can't get rid of Lindsay. She's like, attached at the hip. So I'll get rid of Mr. Falls a lot. Who else? I need to get rid of one more person. I guess I'll just exchange tanks. 
Although she's the far superior tank. That's okay, because it's just a quest. Just like right now, this dude is just knocking with the... This... Let's see what the cartographer actually does as far as damage. If he knows spells, then maybe I'll let Arch stay back. Yet. Pretty close. This was not part of the plan. <laughs> Won't kill me. No, we're going to have to rest after this I'm area. Listening. How much are these worth? 10? Okay, they're worth it to keep. And that, whatever that was. supposed to rest. Let's just leave this area and then we'll rest. Wait, 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 wait. Perfect. Flower, grant me strength. Oh, Saren Ray, I see your light. This was not part of the plan. This is not looking good. I'm <coughs> it's all right. Jesus, everyone's down. And they killed the ponies. Damn. Follow my lead. Rest. <laughs> My cape is all worn out. Gotta catch a bear. A big one's hide would fit me just right. You know, we just killed a giant alpha wolf. That probably, probably be really good for a cape. Just saying.
है Didn't even have a chance to avoid it. Lots of trolls here, dude. Please stay up. Healing fire. Doing I need your <laughs> Wait, what? The hell does Brandon mean? An elderly half elf stands before you. His sun bleached hair revealed him as a seasoned traveler, and the confidence with him, which he holds his bow reveals him to be a seasoned warrior. In his cart full of various items, it seems a traitor as well. Damn trolls almost died from the stink alone. Half elf wipes the sweat from his brow. They almost had me, since when our troll is not afraid of fire. Good thing I had a few flasks of acid among goods. Thank you for your. Travel out the Grand Lands, your words are fair. Oh, yeah. A few moments more, I would, he frowns. Whoever rules this land gives little care to its safety. Former safe trade roads are given over to trolls and not a guard to be seen. But where are my manners? I am Dalton. From Mix Myvin, a merchant by trade, who are you? We are simple travelers from Prevoy. Have you, Tristan, have you renounced the throne? Formed chaotic neutral. 
Oh, oh, I am unusual lies. They were just wrong. But yes, I knew it was a secret. We all did. No doubt. Oh, I beg your forgiveness, Siri still bows. But these trolls, they threat they're a threat to everyone. They've attacked several villages, destroyed several bridges, and are scaring away trade caravans worse than bandits. Let's see, you're an experienced trader. Would you consider operating exclusively in my barony? I dealt in frowns. Don't get me wrong, your grace. I, but I've family in Brevoy, so my road always must take uh, take me there. I'm mean, how dangerous. Neutral evil. You're right. These roads are dangerous. Trolls are at least. I'll respect your wishes. Thank you, your grace. Tell me more about this mage. Barthol is my name. He's not bad for a human. Always so polite, so respectful, but there's something odd about him. He lives alone in the middle of the woods, his house surrounded by traps with a single safe road leading to it. No bandits nor trolls scare him. Any other dangers on the road? The way he looks at you, it's like examining you, like he's considering to crack you open to see what's inside. Okay, any other dangers? Trolls aren't enough, Dalton laughs. Actually, I've heard a disturbing rumor. It said a ho dog has not Made a lair in a cave south of here. Whether true or not, traders are taking no chances. Taking forest was uh, roots instead. Let me mark the cave on your map. I've never fought a ho dag yet. Sweet. You've heard from Miven, you say, what is your view on the Bisperni? Long Miven was founded by the sword lords who refused to bow before the new ruler and fled Brevoy. Well, not. Brevins anymore, our people and the people here have a lot in common, as I've heard the barony here was founded by people from Restop. We look upon them as distant cousins, I suppose. Don't smile. Welcome cousins, that is not fami family you'd rather forget. Good fortune to you and safe travels. Uh, hold a moment. I didn't have a chance to reward you for your help. Fortunes are best shared after all. Potion of light. Cure light wounds and 100 gold coins. Dope. Could have kind of used Dalton, but that's fine. There's probably a way to do it. But I didn't like any of the options. I didn't like. I don't want to like push people around. I'm here to be like a good fighter and kill things. And I guess kind of lead my kingdom. Okay, so we can kill these guys with acid still. That's good. Does he have anything for sale? Due time. That is not okay. far. Time is it? One sixteen. Getting a little tired, but I'm going to. I still want to travel to the Nim. That's kind of like my goal. I'll have to check this dude out later. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Let's try to avoid everyone's really, really tired. Bad timing. 
I'm hungry. When we stop. Uh, after we kill me. tame giant spiders, what the fuck? I tire. To get the hell out of there. Now's a good time to rest. We should gather all strength. That's what I'm saying. You pray to your goddess with such devotion, but you never accused me of apostasy like other priests. I appreciate that. There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's better you leave than to stay and lie to yourself and your deity. Cool. All right, we're moving along. of stuff to impact still. Thing looks huge. Stinky lousy. Let's try this way. This should do it. Attack! A calculated risk. Bring it! Repent! Let us strike as one! Damn it, I couldn't save him. I tried. It's kind of sad. May we have a moment of respite? If someone hits you on your cheek, you just need to block it. <laughs> someone hits you on your cheek, you just need to block it? Wow. Solid advice, thank you. Fuck. What? Tear them apart! 
more bandits. I'm hungry. When we of course. I didn't realize he was being attacked from behind. So oh, bitch. It's the first time like he's gone down for a while. I didn't realize he was being attacked back there. To your faith in Saren Ray. Let me guess. Hmm. You committed a terrible atrocity, and now you're atoning for it. Am I right? I was just looking at the world. There is such evil in it, and too little mercy. Is it not enough to simply want to change it for the better? I like how I'm fighting all this stuff whether I want to or not. That's fine though. We are a very strong group at this point. Well, not a very strong group, pretty strong group at this point. So we'll be able to take on quite a bit. Just making sure that I don't have anything Timed. Besides that. I know what to do. Seriously? All, right. All according to plan. Well, I, at least I cleared the road to it. Damn. That's kind of ridiculous, though. We'll try again with just him, but resting would be nice. Don't see if, you think? Let's see if I can make a shortcut through there if I don't have to hit the tower. save some time.
May we have a moment of respite? It's fine. All right, let's go check out the lone dude. We'll come back for the nymph in a little bit. It's so stupid, I have to go alone. All right, I need your ideas. Who is that storyteller who's living in the capital? How could an elf look so old? It shouldn't be possible. Still have so much exploring to do too. Oh no. real quick get this out of the way oh, we have my favorite party so I want to visit the nymph first I feel like she would really help me out I am prepared it's like she could help with my land's prosperity, right? Faster sword. These bandits died after triggering a chap. Mr. I get hit so much. It's hit. Did I loot these guys? Didn't. Shit. Onwards. Yes. 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 Oh man, those attack of opportunities when they come right up from getting knocked down, it sucks. And we had done so well for so long. So now that we did. All according to plan. Anything is possible. Repent. Yes. 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 Yes.
Good lord. I am your shield. Reload fire, merchant's letter. Hey, sweet Lexan, I just received a letter from you and rushed immediately to answer. I want you to get word from me as soon as you arrived in Nutsetfin. All well, these endless travels of yours, I've become an expert on road and settlements. Myself. Little Ketri asks about his father whereabouts every night instead of bedtime stories, and I get a map and show him. Here's your gulls, and these are the stolen lands. There's Brevoy, and this is the road your father is riding on right now. And we wish you good night and go to sleep. Everything is all right here. The workers you've hired finally finished the paintings, painting the walls, and fixing the roof. Now sitting on the very top of the house is the marvelous forged weathercock you bought from Numeria. It's perched up there and watching around. What's there behind the horizon? Maybe the master is on his way. Ron the Beltheart returned recently. You'd somehow missed each other in Mivin. He told a bunch of tall stories about his adventures, as he usually does. Told us that there was a Hodog living in the woods in the southern stolen lands. I almost fainted at the spot. That's the forest you pass up every time. Maybe Ron's just lies. God knows he usually does, but I beg you to take care and choose the road you take. Other road to skip coming near the damned forest. I'm writing this now, and I can't keep my tears from running. I'm just not myself without you. The only joy I have is within watching little Ketri, his face and yours, as like two peas. He's even frowned just like you. You always bring me some presents, dresses or shoes. Now, turquoise brooch you promised last time. But I need none of that. The only thing I need is you by my side. Safe and sound. Take care of yourselves. Be back. Your beloved Alik and Ketri. That's sad. That's sad. He did. Something bothering you? Let's do a quick save. Seed with caution, traps In ahead. Due time. Interesting. Applause, please. Do another quick save. <laughs> what a find! It's just not my lucky day. I failed. I'm sorry. I failed. I'm sorry. Anything else? Nice. That is not far. Bartholomew Delgado, a middle-aged man, stands before you. His clothes are not too gaudy, but tasteful despite living in the wilderness. He looks well-groomed, even dapper. His mustache is slick, and nails on his agile, soft hand are meticulously polished. What a pleasant surprise. Welcome, Your Grace. Would you like a cup of tea? Something strong, perhaps? It's a great honor for a humble hermit, entertaining such an important personage. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Bartholomew Delgado, at your service. How may I help you? How may I be assistance? Do you know anything about the local trolls who are resistant to fire? I've never heard of anything like it. If that's true, I'll have to revise my defenses. Bartholomew suddenly goes silent, frowns, and closes his eyes. Grace, I'm afraid we must intermit that conversation for now. A moment ago, a troll was caught in one of my fire traps, and it was unharmed. I suggest that a chance to explore its corpse would be better equipped me to your answer. Accompanied by Bartholomew, lead the way. Elish, I humbly request you for protection. Please follow me. Shit. You forced my hand. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm 
without me too. I walks around the troll's corpse. At least they're still vulnerable to steel and acid. Now let's look and see what this creature lost its respect for fire. Arthrome recites an incantation, waves his hand over the troll's chest, then points a specific spot. They are branded on the flesh as a symbol of blacksmith's hammer, encircled by thorn-studded vines. Whatever that is, that's the reason its flesh didn't burn. The wizard slowly makes an incantation around the brand, and then peels off the flesh off you. Exercising the brand completely. I must study this. Here's the key to my laboratory. Away from me there. I'll join you soon. Without another word, with only whispers, incantation and vanishes. Applause, please. As it should be. What a find. Applause, please. I am still getting. I believe I found something. Yeah, thirty six per trap. Anything in else? due time. How close am I to leveling? Oh, very close to level 6. Dope! Alright, let's see what's going on with the old man. Where's his laboratory? Interesting. There it is. Applause, please. Okay. According to plan. This is fun. Obviously, I can't get this. Like, I don't want to stop. I should go to bed, but. Way too much fun. Just do a quick save. <laughs> what a find! It's in here. Interesting. Anything else? Applause, please. Killing it. What do the bracers do? Oh, you totally get this now. Anyone not have a cloak? Do you not have a cloak? You now have a cloak. Experiments does he conduct here? Let use diary. Saddle page of the diary. Crudely scratched symbols. There are numerous smears, worn spots, cuts, and burns on it. Bartholomew obviously isn't a tidy type. The leather cover is spotted with acid burns. Page edges are tattered. There are four symbols carved on the first. One is B, three others stand separately. I and I. B stands for the name Bartholomew. What does the I and I stand for? Mean, interesting. Great experiment, day 104. I burned all the previous notes to embarrass to remember what a complete fool I was, but somehow I've got the creature. I call it Dimwit. Everything is going to be all right. Studying the troll's ability to regenerate will lead me to my ultimate goal, day 112. 
Got a reasonable s to celebrate. Well, determined Dimwit's pain threshold, I found out it practically has no such thing. Wounds, broken bones, amputations, and the rest of the peril of a warrior of the mage's life. For troll, these are no threat at all. The trick is to avoid getting carried away while working with fire or acid, so the impact spots will heal in several days. Amazing. Too bad I didn't dare to buy it at the very beginning of my way. Day 125. Staying in bed for the second day for the incident served me right. I had to travel too excited and came a bit too close to Dimwit. The beast bit my arm, then it started shouting something like Borba, Borba. I wonder what that means, if anything at all. A wounded hand is still sore, it even hurts to write this. I hate pain so much. Day 127. Here I'm lying in bed thinking about how different we are. A unique intellect against its unbearable animalistic stupidity. At the same time, it regenerates and some chthonic ability to endure torture and heal wounds against my human fragility and intolerance to pain. It's okay. I'll find a way to get what I need. 129. Date 129. I got over to Zell. This regeneration of three simultaneous amputated limbs proved to be an extremely slow process. All the races over the troll's strength are barely enough for it to go on. I probably shouldn't have used fire. In the wild environment and without my elixir, the creature would be long dead. I will continue my experiment in three days or so. I feel I'm close. A few more efforts and I will really become invulnerable and invincible. Uh, this is starting to get a little sketch, guys. Just saying. Yo. Him what? Rogue's coat comes from the behind the bars, or uh, the troll set. Sitting in the cage is so thin you can see his ribs through his skin, although you see no scars. His pelt is matted with dried blood, and his eyes are full of unfocused. Various knife saws and blood manacles scattered about, leaving little doubt what the troll has suffered. Warbara, the troll croaks through clenchy. Kill me enough, it hurts. Bartholomew rushes into the laboratory, waving the sample of branded skull skin. Excited. It was simpler than I thought. This is a simple spell for a fire protection, and competent wizard could cast it. The unusual element was the way the spell was applied. This wasn't cast by any human hand, though. The brand was stamped on with some artifact, which would make it possible to make troll fire resistance to massive numbers. This is grave news for, all, for us all. My fire traps are useless now and make acid traps will take time and resources. More importantly, for trolls to organize in such a way, there must be some greater intelligence operating behind the scene. If that's the case, the list of potential targets for a force that formidable is short one. Bartholomew pauses, then begins to rummage through his lab. I promised you reward, so please accept this acid wand. I'm afraid I may need them soon. I'm afraid you may need them soon. Bartholomew's eyes light up. Oh yes, this is the greatest project of my career. I'm exploring the regenerative abilities of trolls in the hopes of passing them on to humans. Can you imagine the possibilities? Pain, senility, mutilation, mutilation, even death itself defeated. Oh, you weren't concerned I acquired the troll illicitly, were you? Don't worry, I purchased it legally. I'm not poacher or out roaming the barren's woods. Neutral, this is disgusting practice. Neutral, I don't care about the natural. Chaotic neutral, this is original. I don't care how you acquired the creature. I want to tell you right, shut screw lands. Kill him quickly and humiliatingly. I'm going to go with this. What's the issue? This isn't a person, it's a mindless creature who's barely capable of stringing a few words together. You kill them without a second thought, but you wouldn't deny me the right to experiment on it for the sake of science. This is barbarism, despotism. You have no the wizard stops abruptly. These experiments are deplorable. What the law is with him. If you are baron, not a bandit chief, you have no right to interfere. I'll go neutral. I'll let him continue with the experiments. Everyone smiles sadly. The ruler's path is complete. 
complicated guess. I admire your resolution in the face of such dilemmas. Thank you, Your Grace. You won't regret this decision. They gave me the chaotic neutral, which I don't know if that's chaotic neutral. I feel like that was always chaotic good. Be a creepy learner. Fortunately, he stayed away. But oh no. You seem an educated man. What do you do in the woods? Assemble Humber research in the field of esoteric sciences, and I've chosen this location to work in peace, away from the noise of the city when the environment is quiet and fresh of air. Do you have anything for sale? Certainly. Let's offer up all my crap. Dex, that's cool. Interesting. Okay. Holding. Hmm. and can turn into a large oak. Interesting. Oh, wow. We just leveled up. I mean, we did steal from him a bunch, too. So I guess, like, it makes me feel a little better. We can leave his journal behind. Okay, so the plan tomorrow will be to wake up whenever I wake up. Probably do a little workout. Maybe cut up this video. Um, due time. Then, uh, I did want to see if I can't get back into the division. Play a little bit of that and try out that new, um, um, try out that new, like, level thing, the tower. See if I like that at all. Um, and then a little Warframe, as usual. Um, and I'll probably finish off the day playing this. Which, this game's pretty great. I'm enjoying the crap out of it. Okay. Shield bash, shield focus, two weapon fighting. Two weapon fighting and shield masters to the list. I kind of want to just do this. Drop the shield, right? And then have that one of those cookers in his other hand. Let's just take a look at this character real quick. Yep, that's fine. Or Kukri. I don't know why I call them Kukurus, but yeah. So if we did this. I don't need this. 
someone else would make better use of this. Did this. Right. I think I want to do that. I was kind of not going to do two-handed weapons, but I kind of want to do two-handed weapons now. Still combat trick. Ah, oh, but I wanted to do this first. Was I gonna look up? I made a note of this so I wouldn't forget it. I don't know if I can do this though. Let's see. Oh, it's a feat. I'm not going to be able to do this till next level. Bonus to damage is increased by Okay, this bonus if by if you're a one handed weapon using two handed or a primary natural weapon that adds one after your strength modifier, bonus to damage is halved. When your base attack bonus reaches plus four. What happens if I do weapon and shield? What is this? Uh, if you wield a second weapon in your offhand, you can get one extra attack per round with that weapon. When fighting in this way, you suffer a negative six penalty with your regular attack or attacks with your primary hand and a negative 10 penalty attack with your offhand. If your offhand weapon is light, the penalties are reduced by two. Under strike is always considered light. I don't feel like these are that good. Combat tricks. Yeah, I want to do this for light weapons, elven estoc, or rapier. Made for creatures of your size, your dexterity modifier instead of your strength. It's 
gonna make my S stock so much stronger. Rapier, so much stronger. Let's see that. Yep. Because my dexterity is like what's big. Alright. So we're still doing this. Looks like I do more damage with this. Because that's what that does now, right? Hold on. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, so my next feat, I'm going to do what's called Slashing Grace, which will allow me to use my dexterity on my sword, my long sword. So, like, I will have still a slashing and a poking weapon to use. But I'm going to use the poking weapon for now. I kind of want to do allied spell casting. I got to do outflank on the next one too. Yeah, I'm going to do this. This seems good. This is Bard can use the performance to cause one or more creature to become fascinated with him. Each creature has to be fascinated within 30 feet. Okay. I feel like I've used this enough that this would be good. Wait, what is dodge? So that makes you lose your dex bonus. Condition that makes you lose your dex bonus to AC also makes... Uh, okay. I want this too.
Hmm. This would be good. But I don't... Not for her. I need to use that for my other guy's combat reflexes. I'm not a great point blank shot. is pretty... No. No, 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 no. Think, 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 think. Yeah, let's just do point blank shot. I've used this enough that I think this would be helpful. Or like, she's been in situations where it would just be helpful. This would be sick. Think about this. It's me, you just, you just becomes more graceful. One friendly creature within touch range. Wait, does that mean one friendly player? I guess creature, just anything. Dude, if I put this on my main dude, that would be insane. That'd be insane. Yeah, I really want this. Oh yeah, I'm waiting. Wait, 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 wait. Dragon totem. I don't want this. If I lose dragon, that's fine, but this is... Nah, I think this would be better. Plus, what does this do? At 6th level, all of your cure spells are treated as if they were empowered, increasing the amount of- wow. Increasing the amount of damage healed by half. This does not apply to damage dealt to undead. This does not stack with empower spell. That's fine. Just a better healer now. Power attack. Okay. Good stuff. Alright, cool. We're gonna call it here for tonight. Grab like one of these early heals because Earth saves. Don't really need this. Cool. My party is doing 
better. They're all now level six. Uh, we're gonna go back to town after I get on tomorrow, and then uh, I'm gonna take my hero, and we're gonna go visit the nymph. After we visit the nymph, we'll probably grab the uh, dwarf and the new merchant, and uh, take them to kill some trolls. But uh, until then, I'm going to call it a night, and I am DS. I'm out. Thank you guys for watching. I know I had quite a few lurkers. I do want to thank I see respawn for the follow earlier today. I do appreciate it. See you guys all tomorrow.